Charlie, everyone has to come to the realization that the only reality that exists is the story. Look, every situation is made up of a variety of factors. Okay, there's time. It's uh, 3.15 in the afternoon of July 16th. There's place, we're in, uh, we're in Tommy Doyle's, you know? There's, um, it's, it's got green walls, we're in, we're in Boston. We're, we're on the planet Earth, we're in the Milky Way galaxy. There's history, you know? I'm from Hoboken, you're from here. You've got two sisters, I've got a brother. You're eating blintzes, I'm drinking a cup of coffee. I mean, it's these things, it's these things, Charlie, along with everything else in existence that determine who we are and we in turn determine them. This goes on and on forever in every direction. This is overdetermination. There's no real telling what kind of effect one thing has on another, okay? This salt shaker could be the key to your life. I mean, a butterfly flaps its wings in Australia and it creates a hurricane in the Caribbean, right? So there's no escaping this process, you know? There's no, there, there's no removing yourself from it. Even if you try to remove yourself, the very act of removing yourself I mean, that becomes your determining force. More coffee? Oh, yes, please. Oh, no thank you, darling. I've, I've had enough. But let me tell you something. These blintzes are fantastic. Would you make sure to tell the cook I said so? Sure thing. Thank you very much. And by the way, do you serve uh, blueberry blintzes? No, I'm sorry. We don't. Oh, no, that's just that's, cheese. That's okay, darling. Thank you very much. They're very good. Very good. <sighs> I haven't had a blueberry blintz in a very long time. Cheese is good, you know, cheese is good, don't get me wrong. I like the cheese, but blueberry blintz, you know, when they cook it just right, the juice, it soaks through just, just a little bit. And you know, every, every time you, you see it, you think there's enough dough that's gonna hold this, this blintz together, but the minute you stick your fork in it, the juice spells out, it's gone, it's, you've destroyed it, but it's delicious, you know? And maybe it wouldn't be delicious, or maybe you wouldn't know it was delicious, unless you went ahead and destroyed it. Charlie, you're talking about blintzes. I'm trying to get something real here. Blintzes are very real. Real? Oh, what the hell is that anyway? I mean, the idea that there's some definable real, I mean, that is ridiculous. I mean, even if it did exist, where would it even be? Let me ask you this question. Can the human mind comprehend a definite real? Well, no. No, it can't. I mean, Say there was some completely objective real floating about in some pristine dimension, quantum whatever, untouched by human overdetermination. Even if we could gain access to it, we'd poison it with our perception. So then the argument is, if there is no definite real, then the only real worth trying to understand is, is that personal real. The real that we create through our own individual experiences. And okay, I can sort of agree with that. We've only got access to one entry point, so we might as well embrace it. So now the, now, now the question becomes, Charlie, how long does a given real, you know, meaning a real that's made up of all defining variables, how long does a given real exist in the human mind? And the answer, Charlie, Moment. May I have a sip of your coffee, please? A sip of my coffee? Charlie, she was just here. She asked you if you wanted some coffee, uh, and you I said you didn't want any coffee. Time, Charlie, I don't understand. This is ridiculous. One minute you want coffee, and one minute you don't want I'm coffee? I mean, me I don't understand coffee. why you want coffee, Norman, and you don't want coffee. Norman, and Norman, and Norman, give me a sip of coffee. Thank you. Please continue. Um... Yeah, continue. How long does the reality and the mind... Uh, right, right. 
how, how long does a given real exist in the human mind? Uh, the, answer, the answer, Charlie, is that a given real exists for as long as a moment can be short, which is infinitely. So now, now this whole thing becomes an issue of processing. I mean, can we process and understand a moment so instantaneously as to be able to move on to processing and understanding the next moment as quickly as it presents itself? Well, no, no, that's not possible. I mean, that's why we rely on condensed versions of reality. Charlie, it's the story, it's the metaphor, it's the painting, it's the poem. These are the tools we use to interpret, to interpret the multitude of factors that make up reality. So when you think about it, with a reality that's totally incomprehensible, the only thing that matters is the story. Did you pay the bill? No, I don't believe we have. How much did it come to? It would be probably about eight dollars plus tip. Ten dollars. I can take care of it. Thank you. That's very kind. Where is my blood? <laughs> <laughs>